<laughs> Same. Yeah, oh, okay. I hail from deep, deep under the sea. And I am a practitioner of the wizarding arts. What's your What's your actual name? Dude, I I, I just told you. I see. You're gonna stay in character the whole time. Stay okay. In what? <laughs> <laughs> you got it. So we left off last week um, with beetles coming out of a well. Wait, wait, wait. You forgot to tell them um, what your race is. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely not a walking, um, octopus, and you can just, um, ignore the extra extremities, because I, I, I just have a, a cold going on right now, so, yeah. Because you are just happy to see them. You don't have any extra arms. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> I do not have any extra arms, and I am in no way a cephalopod, okay? I am, I am just a normal person like Mr. like like you. <laughs> you know how they <laughs> wrapped up properly baka taco can pass for people is what he's saying so he's he's definitely not an octopus because he's definitely can not pass for an person. octopus baka taco <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she's gonna have some fun with this for a bit guys i, I really I, am yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah things were coming out of the well yes they were not happy things. No, no, no. They were beetles. Why don't I you? I hate beetles. They know happy things. Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah. Why don't you tell him what you were doing with the with the beetles? Yes, tell him. Um. Yeah, yeah. Last session we dropped a gourd into the well, and it appears that the beetles have the ability to just kind of like make it rot so it's advised like to not touch the beetles so so when you drop the gordon did it squash um ha, ha, <laughs> ha. slow clap i try i try uh no <laughs> it just kind of they put it in in the well bucket and when they pulled the well bucket back up, it had just kind of turned to this like black mass in the shape of the gourd. Well, well, well. That's a. Is that is? Are you going to be making bad jokes the whole time? Yes. <laughs> I mean, is that is that your character now? You're just going to do <laughs> bad jokes forever. I'm considered very funny back underwater. Okay, like like a, 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 a lot of the humor hasn't hit down there yet. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm really a, I'm really a thing. Got it. Right. So you're a famous comedian? No, 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 not a famous comedian. I just, I, 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 I just know how to tell a joke or two. Yeah. So you're like the, you're like the Seinfeld of the deep sea. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. No salt water soup for you. I hate both of you. <laughs> How can you hate a bakataka? Yeah, it has its own sitcom. Because the only thing good about a bakataka is its name. Jeez, you, you, you got to get to know me a bit first. Come on now. No, I don't. <sighs> this is all I have to know about you. It it seems like our <clears throat> tabaxi is not going to be able to join us. Oh, that's a and, shame. Yeah. So it's just the three that's of you today. That's too bad. I like cats. Yeah, that is too bad. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some complaining about that one. This was gonna be the you first time both. we had all of the people here. Dude, yeah. If, if, if I had a nickel for every time I've complained about this phone, that like I would I, I would have, You'd so have many nickels. six nickels. I, I I would honestly have more than six nickels. I would have eight. Probably several dollars. Uh, in honestly, nickels. probably several dollars in nickels. Like a, 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 a lot, a lot of nickels. Eight nickels. I'd I'd have enough nickels to to, to buy some sort of snack at a movie theater. So, that's impressive. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, decent amount. Of why don't you Why don't you plug your show? Oh, oh, okay. So if if, if you want to hear me complain 
and do a bunch of um, fun stuff, then I've heard, I've heard, I mean, granted, I, I don't know this because I'm um, just a cephalopod from under the sea, but there's a fantastic show that goes on every Monday and Wednesday at 3 p.m. right here at 91.3. That was Monday, Wednesday at 3 p.m. Listen to General Falcon with General Education. And General Falcon always plugs the phone line, and the phone line seldom works. Literally, that is my life. I plug the phone line every time, and almost every time someone tells me, your phone's not working, and I get a lot of people mad. Mm, great. Okay. Right. Let's see if... Something is gonna happen with the phone. We'll Something's see. Something's gonna be with the phone. We'll see. Something's gonna be oh, nope. Nothing. <laughs> Sadly. I'm just gonna continue organizing these things. Okay. Sure. So I ran in with my squid buddies the other day. You know? Yeah, that's a good question. How did you get to the desert? Oh. You're an octopus. Yeah, we're, we're we're not really big fans I'm of this. I'm sorry, definitely not an octopus. De definitely not an octopus, but um, so I, my, my my family actually um really did not approve of the decision, but uh, I I I, I had seen some some sort of advertisement from the mainland to to be a wizard, and I got it in my head that I could be a wizard. Now, it's not necessarily the greatest thing, for um a wizard to be hanging around what is essentially a samurai feudal society because they kind of think you're a demon so um i i, I had to leave post haste and uh ended up bouncing around for a bit until uh, i realized hey why why be why be just a wizard you know like i gotta i gotta do something special so i ended up uh reviving just a dead body, and became a necromancer. And you know, one thing that led, led to another. And what what what's the best thing for a necromancer to do? Uh, go and go and get a mummy like Brendan Fraser. So, so I, I'm trying to get a mummy like Brendan Fraser, but it, it, it's not working out so well. Mm, okay. Solid. How have you happened across this tiny town in the desert, or are you not? In the tiny town in the desert yet? I'll, I'll be honest. I am. I am lost in the desert. Because, because like I thought that you know it would be easy. You like just go from the ocean. You like find the sand, right? And then you just keep going. And then you'll find the, the like big pyramid, and you go inside, and you're like, hey, mommy, what's up? And, and that's how it works, right? Easy peasy. But it didn't work out that well. So now I'm. There's no big pyramids here. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I, I. It's Middle Eastern themed, not Egyptian themed. Hey, listen, I'm from underwater, and I'm not very, like, culturally attuned yet. You so. don't know the difference. Yeah, I mean, all I know is there's sand, and it's dry, and it's hot. So, like, where are the mummies at? Fair enough. You happen upon this tiny town in the desert, and from a distance, as you're following the sand, I guess. <clears throat> From a distance, you see this geyser of red that is coming up from the town. Uh, <laughs> uh, that looks like blood. Where there's blood, there's dead bodies. Let's go see what we can get. I, 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 I want to go check out that geyser. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 quick question. Yes. Um... When the octopus walks... Definitely not an octopus. Does it sound like Squidward walking? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I yeah. mean, that depends on if they're wearing shoes. You assume that he's not wearing shoes. I mean... I, I don't I, think they can wear shoes. I think they're just... Wow, I just mean... Sea animals. <laughs> There could be specialized cobblers underwater. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, like, you, you, you don't know what they have under the sea. There, there, there's a whole song about it. We have really nice stuff. Yeah. We, have, we have shoes. <laughs> so are you wearing shoes? <laughs> yes, I'm wearing shoes. Otherwise, the, the like, sand would touch my, like, little, little, um, 
I, 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 I don't know what to call these things. Tiny feet? Suction cups? Not like exactly. Cause like back home we just call them the cups, but I mean y'all y'all up here don't got no cups, so I, I don't know if you're hip to the lingo. But uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, like I mean I don't, I don't want to get the sand in there. It's all very abrasive, and you know like it, 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 it's too rough on the skin. So so so, so I, I like to wear some shoes. It gets okay. everywhere. So you're going to check out the geyser. Gonna go check out the geyser. Let's, let's, let's see what we got. <laughs> you enter this little town, or it looks like a town. It's more like a village, I guess. Okay. And all of the buildings are made out of mud brick. So they all kind of, they're the same color as the sand, except larger and square. Pyramids, I found them. Yes. Oh God, you just filled my ears. <laughs> did, did, that was really loud. <laughs> did you guys hear something? It sounded, it sounded like an annoying buzzing. I'm not allowed to swear on air, so you better stop. Gotta <laughs> learn how to be creative. <laughs> <laughs> I can be very creative with it. Okay, so I want to go and um, knock on the door of one of these buildings. Okay. The first building you see, you knock on. It's like a rectangle. And so their architects are boring. They already said they were made of mud. I mean, what do you expect from these people? Creativity. They're in the desert. It's not like they have anything else to do. Yeah, work with what you got. Yeah, but do? have fun with what you got. Like, don't just make rectangles. They're being boring. Mm. Well, this one is a rectangle. <laughs> this building is a rectangle. This just happens to be the only rectangle in the entire no. village. <laughs> it's like a one-story rectangle. And you knock on the door, and you hear someone, like a melodic voice, say, Come in. Oh, I want to go in. Yay. OK. You go in, and you see pots everywhere, like clay pots. Clay, <laughs> just clay. I'm glad and you specified and because we were all gonna make jokes about that. Just clay and yeah. pots and tables everywhere. Uh, hi. Um, so. And you see a big thing that looks like a plant playing with some of the clay. <laughs> Are you a plant mummy? I'm not a mummy. But. You're in a pyramid. Why, why, why would you be in a pyramid if you're not a mummy? This isn't a pyramid. This is my pottery studio. Well, why'd you let me in then? I don't, I don't want any pottery. Because <laughs> I like visitors. Oh. Okay. Hi. Um, so I gotta go. So I'm gonna go find a pyramid. So bye. Bye. I, I, I want to leave and go towards, um, where I think that geyser is because that was, that was a bust. Okay. You go towards the geyser. It's on the other side of town. And, or village. And as you approach it, you see several more weird plant figures. Um, would you, would you know other races? Not really. I know, I know fish. And like water things. Okay. I, I can tell you about some very interesting strains of kelp, however. Okay. You see more plant figures. Um, a big shiny bronze thing that hurts your eyes. Um, something that kind of looks like a person, but it's black and white. And something you don't quite know what it is. It looks like it has fur, and also um, a human-looking figure that's very tan but has fluffy white hair and seems like he's doing something magic-y. 
I want to approach Magic-y guy and say, hello, my fellow person. How, how are you on this very sunny and, and dry day? <laughs> hello. He, he kind of gives you a weird look. And where are you from? Uh, you don't seem like you've been around here too much. Uh, you, you know, um, I, I, I'm just from around the block. You, you know how it is. Okay. You're standing, like, right next to the geyser. So, uh, As you say this. um, what, what is this? Because it's dry out here, and I like liquid. Is, is this water? Can I get in this? I wouldn't. What? It's not liquid. It's beetles. But, I, 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 I hate the desert so much. Why do you guys do this? <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why do you have beetles that, that are water? Can you, can you explain what's going on here? As you finish saying this, the beetles kind of just go up in the air. Like, the geyser stops, beetles kind of go up in the air and disperse. And then there's just this gush of water out of the well. And uh. you're standing in this sort of shallow pit. It overflows the well and it goes into the pit and everyone around you is like soaked up to their ankles. Nice. All of the plant people start swarming the pit and you notice they're they're shriveled looking like they don't have enough water. This is this is outlandish. This is the, the audacity. They, they, they need water. You need water to live. What, what, what are we going to do about this? The, the, the beetles transformed into water. We're just going to transform the beetles again. What are we going to do? <laughs> that's, that's I look and wonder if this, in, if this creature is really this stupid. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, um, if, if, I'm, 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 I'm going to enjoy this water, but, uh, Okay. I want you, some. You do have that water dependency thing. Yeah, I, I, I need me some water, so like... <laughs> then why did you come to the desert? Because I... Okay, listen, like... You want some mummy. There are <laughs> other places to find mummies. Have you ever heard of, like, those bog mummies? That's water. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, but those are... No, that's gross. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want one of those. I want one of those mummies that, 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 that can, like... That can, like spin around in those like great white things the, 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 those bog mummies would be all wet and gross no I'm the wet I okay I'm with Melinda on this I don't get why you are coming to the desert for a mummy when there's other places to find mummies mummies okay. are not exclusive to the desert okay I don't know where you guys get all this mummy information okay but like doubt I, our section on mummies in the library isn't that big, okay? Like, I, I don't know what you expect from me. We, we had one book, and it was talking about mummies coming from the desert with the pyramids. So that's where I go, and suddenly people are telling me that I could have gone somewhere else. <laughs> this is really hard, guys. I don't, I don't know. I, Do you see any pyramids here? Do you want to sit down in the water petulantly? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to very depressingly sit in this water. I, I have to rethink plans. Like I thought, I thought I was on the right track. And also, no, you don't see the pyramids, silly, because like then everyone would go get the mummies. They're, they're like they're like hidden under the sand. Duh. Everyone knows that. You sit in the water petulantly, and I still sit there and wonder if he's really this stupid. <laughs> I want to I want to kind of flap my like arms in the in, in the water very very very, very right, sadly. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just flap around a bit. The plant people are kind of looking at you weird, but they're happy to have the water, so they don't care. <laughs> what you never never seen a sad person before? Dumb plants, dumb desert. I'm going to chime in and ask Azra if he knew um, if it was going to come back, if the beetles were going to come back, or if the water was going to stay. 
Oh, I think the beetles are gone for good. Yeah. And what about the guy he puts in there? He, he just kind of makes a face and well, I have to go back to the city and figure out what's going on. No sense staying here for that. Wait, before you go, where are the pyramids? In the mountains? Okay, okay. So, 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 let me, let me, let me rephrase my statement here. <laughs> I want a dead person. <laughs> well, oh, like, wait a minute. You're... A special dead person. Oh. Like a political figure, because I can help you with that. Oh. <laughs> I want, I want, I want a rich and or powerful dead person. No, I know what mummies are, but you won't find any in this town. Well, what, what will I find here? Because I, I kind of came all the way here. Just the Dwight. The what? The plant people. They're called Dwight's. Huh. That's a that's a weird name. You're a weird name, Mr. Papo Papo. You'll have to go north for mummies. North. Do you know what goes north? Well I'll have you know <laughs> that the the us Do you us, know which way is north or do you just know up and down? Us nautical folk it's are a yes very. Or no question. Yes, I know where North is. <laughs> How do you think I navigate the seas? What's wrong with you? Nautical. The seas. Yeah. I thought you were a human. So I'm 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 a pirate. R. R. You're hurting our ears. Turn the mic down. It is. Turn it Yours is lower than everybody else's. Listen. <laughs> we are, and you're loud. Now he's just being a jerk and not saying anything, but mouthing. Is that better for you? Oh, yes. is that not loud enough? No, that was perfect, actually. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, Azra, can I come with you to the town to ask about this? Because I'm pretty curious myself. I'm sure the Countess would love some extra help. Okay, well, I'm going to follow. Does anyone else want to come? Well, this is where I'm from, right? That he's talking about. Yes. I haven't been home in quite some time. Oh, well, you're from the city? Yes, I um, worked in the arena. I was the opening act of... Um, who was he? Say no more. Okay. His face kind of like closes Darkens. closes up, sort of. Yeah, like his expression closes up. Mm -hmm. Hey, so uh can I come? Sure. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> So how long of a travel is it? Well, we have to reach the trade route first. Okay. How far is that? A couple days. Okay. Do we have enough supplies to last that long? What supplies do you have? This is, this is me out of character. Oh. Well, it's a sturgeon. Ezra knows who that is, so okay. he didn't even need you to say it. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have water. Did you say water? How much do you want for it? Well, there's a well right here. <laughs> then why are you interested in my water? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. Water. So I guess we should probably go and see if there's a store in town that we could get some supplies from. Um, the sage 
is just kind of exciting. He's like, no, 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 you must, you must stay. We have to throw you a feast in your honor. Thank you. What do you think, Azra? Do you think we could stay one more night? Sure, why not? He's, he's kind of smiling at the page like, no, I couldn't possibly, but I should kind of thing. <laughs> All right, cool. So I guess that's decided. We're going to stay in town for one more night. Okay. Um, where are we going to stay, though? Well, the inn does have some, like, not rooms. They have the cots, but not okay. rooms. So can we stay there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. The sun finally starts going down. It's kind of getting towards sunset, and... Um, the farmer, one of the farmers you met earlier. The one that I tried to convince that I was the plants inspector? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the plants inspector. You missed quite a bit, buddy. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Um, the I got farmer. a natural one on trying to convince him that I was the plants <laughs> inspector not stealing his gourds. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard out here. Ooh. So as the sun is going down, the farmers and various other townsfolk, I guess, start bringing out armfuls of vegetables from you don't know where. You haven't seen good looking vegetables since you've been here. Where are you guys getting those from? It's a root cellar. It's a root cellar? Yep, in case of emergency. Oh. I was going to say, because I, th- I thought it was, you know, hot like this all year long. It is. Mm-hmm. Mostly. Um, you can you can go see where the root cellar is if you want to. You don't have to. Um, yeah, I'd like to go down and check. If anything, it's an excuse I can take my hood off and not die in the sun. Okay. Well, would they happen to have water down there? Oh my god, you're already sitting in the well. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, th- th- they might have different water. I <laughs> thought you said water. you had water and that it didn't matter. I didn't say it didn't matter. I mean, I just, I, I like different water. Do we water have to take him with us? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he already said he would go. So what if we just leave without him in the night? I mean, I can, I can, I can do stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm useful. Azra's your guide to the trade route, so you at least have to wait until she leaves. <coughs> She's rolling her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I felt I felt the benefited with that vision. Oh, the pain. So you you leave Gash by you leave Gash by the well and the Tata. Okay. You leave him in the well and And take away the ladder and hope he stays. No, he's not in the well. He's just sitting in the pit while the well overflows. Splish splash, I was taken in the back. <laughs> just sort of sadly flapping his arms. <laughs> and you wander back over to the field you were in before. Mm. Make a uh, investigation check. Which which the big one, the biggest one. So D twenty. Yeah. I'm using my tiny dice. I get there are dice over there, but mine are special and like to betray me a lot. Roll on the table instead of your book. That helps. Seven. Yeah. Well, you. lucky for you, this is pretty easy to find. Um. At the end of the field that you were walking by before, there's kind of a poorly hidden wooden trap door in the ground. Wait, but I also have a skill in perception. Okay. So wouldn't that help you? Yeah. Okay. I have a plus two proficiency bonus. Okay, so I guess roll for perception also. A two. 
It doesn't matter. You still find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, because of the investigation thing, um, you find a wooden trap door in the sand that's kind of just had some sand brushed over it. It looks like someone has been down there and then not worried about concealing it very well. Okay. So I'm going to go down there. You open up the trap door and there's a ladder going down. Okay, and I don't need to turn on the light because I have a security touch. You're fine. So I'm going to go down the ladder and see what's down there. You go down the ladder into this open space. It's like a, like a basement, I guess. It's just kind of this big pit with the ladder out. And there's baskets full of vegetables that have been put into holes dug in the wall to keep them as cool as possible. Is there anything else down here but vegetables? Roll for investigation. OK, that was better, 13. You sense there's something magical down here? OK. Um, I'm going to do some looking around. And is there anything else in the room besides the vegetables in the wall? And there's also some barrels that are probably wine or ale or something like that. I think I'd like to investigate the barrels. Okay. Um, you open the tap on one of the barrels and the purple cocktail that you have seen the tabaxi drinking comes out. Okay. It looks like it's a smaller barrel. The other ones are bigger. You can tell by how far they've been dug into the wall. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the barrel with the purple stuff in it has a has been dug in shorter and the other ones have been dug in more. Okay. So I want to look at all the barrels. Okay. And you don't really need to pull the taps open because most of them say what's on them. Um, okay. Just a second. There's one that says malt. There's one that says fruit ale, there's one that says hard cider, and there's one that says stout. Okay. Um, are there any baskets or anything in here? What do you mean? Is there any, is there anything else but the stuff that's stored in the wall? Like, is there anything on the floor? Mm. No, there's a pile of empty baskets that looks like it's been put there recently and there is there is a something there is a place on the ground where it seems like it's kind of been hurriedly covered up I'm gonna look down there you brush off the dirt and there's another smaller trap door okay. is it big enough for me to fit through no okay can I look through it yes all right you open up the trap door and there's a box it's like a wooden box the hole is just big enough for the box can I pull it out roll for strength just regular strength I guess You okay. cannot okay. pull this box But I have a strength of 10. No. <laughs> um. Fine. I'm going to keep note of it and bring back the dragonborn, who's probably strong enough to look through it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back and join the party after I cover it back up and try to make it look like I was there better. Okay. You go back to the, I don't know, overflowing of, like, hey, there's water back, we have to throw you a seat, kind of atmosphere. There's been a few fires that have been started near the well. It seems like this pit sort of functions as a plaza also, mm -hmm. because 
the sand has been kind of swept back neatly around it. When you go back to this pit that seems like a plaza, there's been a few fires started much to the displeasure of the person sitting in the pit. <laughs> he has water. Much to his displeasure. Can I go in the well? They're drinking water. You're disgusting. They, they, they're, they're lighting fires. I don't like that. <laughs> then go back under the sea. Hey, I'm, I'm not from under the sea. I'm from above it. Just, I'm, a, I'm a pirate person. <laughs> yeah. That's not what you told us earlier. If you really want to, you can go down the well. I want to go down the well. And I'm going to warn on. everyone not to drink the water. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to listen to you at this point. I know. <laughs> you, there is a bucket. There is a bucket. It's like that setup where there's a square thing, like a frame, and then there's a bucket hanging from the frame and a crank. Yes. Do you hop in the bucket? I'll, I want to hop in the bucket and say, beam me down, Scotty. No one understands that reference, <laughs> and no one is paying any attention to you. Am I still in the pit? Um, I thought you were sure celebrating. I, um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah, I guess I'm just stuck there with some plant people. I want to I wanna go to one of... How about... Um, you could be helping them like arrange things. I yeah, guess. okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I go get his help. Sure. I, I want to go tap him on the shoulder and ask him to politely come lower me into the well. <laughs> um, you're getting, you're pretty close to the fire right now and you don't like this at all. Well, okay. Thanks. I'll, 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 I want to just hop in the hop in this bucket and clap my hands and say, "Let's do it." Okay. Wait, how how small are you? Well, it's, I mean, I can. A, I, it's kind of a squish, but he can fit in the bucket. I can I I, I can like fit in stuff and also just kind of hang out because I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm a very flexible person. Are those tentacles? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> these are these are just just normal people limbs. Octopi have just cartilage, so they can squish real small. Oh my gosh, that, that must be really convenient for them. Too, too bad I can't do that. Just you scared. also can. Yes, yes. Somehow. I was I, I was also in the circus at some point. Hmm. I see. Very flexible. Yeah. While he's me. going down the well, um, I'm going to go up to our dragonborn friends and tell them about what I found in the root cellar. So you're being pulled in two directions right now. Yeah. Technically three. <laughs> because you just want to help the plant people, but the elf person is asking about some box they can't lift, and the human, question mark, is, is <laughs> wanting you to lower them down the well for some reason. Okay. Um, Delmarev is going to uh, lower the octopus and then just kind of, like, leave with... Um, the drow. Okay. Ooh, how deep is it? What's it like down here? You're gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> you just crank the bucket all the way down and walk away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> yeah, so I, they were talking about the root cellar, and I didn't know why they needed a root cellar. It's, I understand saving things for emergency, but it's always hot down here. Like, it's never the off season. They don't need to mm. store these. So, I did some investigating and it I was slightly cooler in the root cellar. Like okay. cool enough to keep vegetables from dying real fast. Okay. Well, I looked on the floor and someone had very um, hastily covered up a small trap door. And there's a box down there, but I can't lift it. And I kind of sense that something's magical about it. Hmm. Okay. So you need my help lifting it. I need you for your muscle. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm alone. <laughs> you guys come down this well and check it out. It's pretty nice down here. Um, under the well is more water. 
don't know how to describe what a spring would be like underground. Like, is it just a hole with water in it? Underground? E yes. Okay. It's like an underground river kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. There's, it's like um, groundwater. Yeah. So you, you just you just get lowered into another pit that's full of water. It's pretty nice that way. Okay. Maybe You're if there's there. maybe if, maybe if there's caves you can explore for a mummy. Are there caves? Can I explore? No. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. No caves down here. Just a big giant pit full of water. That's it. Nice. So like, I I want to just start yelling back up that all right I'm all done. Yeah. They probably but can't no hear me. One's there. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, but but but, but, uh -huh. but I'm still just gonna be hollering. <laughs> all right. <laughs> right. So are we're we, back up. Are we're we back to up. the root cellar now? Yes. Okay. But we're gonna take a quick break because okay. we have to read PSA. It's it's the rules. Can I do it? Is that allowed? I thought the person that was hosting had to do it. Really? I thought they just need a public service announcement. If you want to do it, knock yourself out. <laughs> As we say on the water, whatever sinks your submarine. <laughs> just let me know what you pick, man. Well, I think that we should tell the people about discovering nature, don't you think? Okay. Now, any time is the perfect time for families to connect with the outdoors. Even in cities or small villages like we were in today, parents can find opportunities to take their kids on small adventures. Village, but it still counts. Still counts. From hiking and biking to ice skating and snowball fights, these experiences are so valuable. So, so valuable, folks. Spending time in nature gives kids a chance to move explore, and, and engage in unstructured and adventurous play. The kids have lower stress levels and build stronger immune systems. By visiting discovertheforest.org, they can learn where to connect with nature right in their own neighborhoods. And you can connect with some peace and quiet while they're gone. That's awful. <laughs> Still kind of true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come back till dinner time. Bye. You know, that actually used to happen, and now it doesn't because parents are just watching over their kids' shoulders all the time, which is a shame. You know, always remember the same people that complain about um, a, a, a lot of kids today being sheltered are the same ones who rely on technology to shelter their children. Yep. Mm hmm. To all you King of the Hill fans out there. <laughs> you guessed me. So Gesh and Adri go back to the root cellar. Um, you climb down the root cellar. Let me up. I can I can still do it. No one's gonna come up. Can I okay, so like can I try literally holding this rope and climbing up like Batman? Make an athletics check. <laughs> I think that's strength, right? Oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> strength. Here, have a pen. Okay. <laughs> this way. Eleven. Plus strength modifier. Uh. Is that a thing for checks? Uh, I'm not. Yeah, it is. Oh god. If it's wait, if it's athletics. Um, if it's a skill check. Yeah, if it's a skill check, no, it's athletics proficiency. Is strength. Acrobatics is dexterity. Okay. Athletics would be strength modifier plus proficiency bonus if there's proficiency, which do I don't you, think there is. Do you have proficiency with athletics? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, so it's just the strength modifier then. Uh, You're so not the one climbing up a rope. That's what I'm not stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm not finding my strength modifier. Well, what's your strength? Uh, I'm not sure, truth, truth be told. Um, Do you have it written down on a piece of paper? Because that might be helpful right now. 
I did live not here. I'm terrible. Um, <laughs> let's just go with plus zero then. Plus zero. Okay. For now, because I don't think wizards would. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't, I, I don't think I'd have it either. That's yeah. Like, oh my God. Okay. So yeah, we can get that sorted for next time. Sorry, okay. right, folks. You do manage to climb up the rope, and then you just kind of sit on the edge of the well, petulantly. <laughs> wow. I mean, these 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 guys are really disappeared quickly. I wonder. Mm, left me down here. <laughs> They must have found something else. Well, what, what, what were they doing? You two are in the root cellar. You go down the root cellar. You see the baskets and the barrels. Um, do a investigation check. Both what? of us or just him? Just him, because you already found it. Okay. Yeah, but why wouldn't I just show it to him? You could. You that's didn't say you showed it to him. That's 16. You didn't interrupt me. A what? 16. Okay, so you easily find it as well. Okay. Um, you brush aside the dirt, you pull up the trap door, and there's a box that just fits in the hole. Okay. Um, yeah, let's try to pull it out. Strength check. Okay, just uh, straight strength? Yes. Okay. Can I party with five people? No. Um, that's going to be a 21. You easily pull the box out. Sick. <laughs> you sense there is something magical about this box. Um, is it locked? It is. What kind of a lock? Is it like a key or is it just so that it's stuck? It's just kind of, there's like one of those flip locks where you have the little lever that you pull out. You know what, you know what I'm talking about? I think so, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe we should have brought along the wizard. What if the wizard is one of the people who hit it? It's a simple lock. You don't need the wizard to open it. So why don't we try to open well, it? Well, wait, there's something it. magical about the box, isn't there? Yes. Okay. Well, let's give it a try anyways. Okay. Do you want to try first? Yeah, I think I could pry it open. Do we need to do a roll for that? Um, roll a d4. Oh, okay. Wait, but I have my thieves tools with me. And you don't need thieves tools. It's like the simplest lock in the world. Right. Oh, okay. That's going to be a one <laughs> for on the D4. And what about you? Also a one. Well, that's good. It's a D4. There's only four numbers on there. It's 25%. Yeah, but can I add it? Is there, like, what would that be rolling for? Oh no, you, you easily open the box. Oh, okay. It was, it was just going off, like, flip a coin, but we have no coin. So what you can do is, instead of flip a coin, it's even numbers or odd numbers, or like, oh, one, two, okay. three, four. Okay, cool. So okay. it was just that kind of roll. All right. You open the box, and it's just packed full of grass cords. Hmm. That's it. That's all that was in this box. It's hmm. full of grass cords. Maybe that's why they were so upset when we took one. I'm sorry, they're what? Maybe. They're the magical gourds that we threw down the well, and and the bugs destroyed it. It's like acorn squash size, like that big. Oh, cool. So the box is just full of. No, I want acorn squash. M yeah. Maybe we should just put these back. They don't seem to be terribly um, interesting. I want to take one. Didn't we already go through this? Yeah, but I want to try again now that there's no one here. Well, go for it, I suppose. Okay. You take one. There's no check to be made this time. You're down the root <laughs> cellar. There's no one here. Plant inspector. Plant inspector. <laughs> I take it you're going to close back, close the box back up. Yeah, and then we're just going to leave everything as we... Okay. Yeah, and cover it back up. Yeah. Okay. And then also we're going to cover up the root cellar so that they don't know we're in there. I don't think it particularly matters because as you're coming back up out of the hole, um, a bright holds the trap door open and goes back down. Oh, okay. 
stuff because it doesn't really matter. You go back to the plaza and there's a big feast that's been cooking up. Um, there is, oh, there doesn't seem to be any kind of meat. It's just vegetables. I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. Um, Azra is already sitting under some tree somewhere a little bit away. She's already... I can't imagine there are too many trees here. No. No. It's it's not really a tree. It's like a really tall hollow bush. plant. Yeah, really tall bush. Okay. What about you? I want to party with the plant people. Okay. Well, they're cooking food on a fire. Are, are, are they all cooking? Some of them. There's not really a party. It's just kind of excited chattering going on. Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'll, I I want to uh, wander over to the tree and be like, Oh, you, you guys actually forgot me down there. <laughs> Hello. Um, are you two over by the, the tall bush? Yeah. Yeah, we were going back over to Azra. Okay. Azra says hi to you. Um, he's gnawing on like a paddle of cactus. That's horrifying. What are What are you doing? Wait, you that's the tavern keeper? <laughs> no. Oh no, that was out of character. I was just making a joke. Oh, no. Out of what? I get it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a thing that exists over here. Now, does my um, character know your name yet? Um, octopus person? Not I, octopus person? I did not introduce myself, did I? No, you did not. Maybe that's why they left you down the well, because they didn't know your name. Yeah, you didn't introduce yourself to me either. Well, did you guys introduce yourselves? I mean, jeez. We thought you were a little weird. Dumber of Gesh, and I've sent my hand out to you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I want to wrap my arm around his arm and, like, very tightly grip it. That's a little too intricate for my taste. That's just great. <laughs> <laughs> nice touch. Very nice touch. No pun intended. <laughs> All around you, the party is kind of, or the feast is kind of reaching its peak as the sun goes down. Um, there's the fire with the food. There's just a lot of excited townspeople chattering around. Um, there's one of the plant people that seems to just be like creating flower decorations out of thin air. Nice. It's really cool though. That's dope. There's <laughs> some torches that have been just stuck in the dirt. And someone is stringing, um, I guess, vine banners around them. There's a couple straight just kind of sitting around by the fire. One of them is one of them is holding a big flat book like this. Azra um, has gotten up from next to you and he's standing by the straight shoulder like pointing out things so it could be a map if you're not quite sure. Um, let me see what else there is. There's a drite tinkering with some piece of metal that flashes in the firelight. I think that's, I think that's all the color I want to add. I think I'm going to go explore and um, see what the plant people are up to. Now that it's nighttime, I don't have to wear my cloak. So, um, did did you get introduced to the octopus yet? They were rude. Wait. They didn't introduce themselves to me. She, 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 she cut me off. She was just busy. Oh. I was just doing descriptions. <laughs> Fine. Um, I'm Adri. I am Tata. Nice to meet you. And like, I want, 
I want to give her just a big old, big old hug. I'm not a hugger. Big old hug. Not a hugger. <laughs> um, <laughs> Squeeze and tight. I we should pull out my sword. We should roll for this. How should we roll for this? Your, your um, roll for violence. <laughs> no, don't roll for violence. I believe we would use the rules of a grapple, <laughs> which would be contested athletics. So, so I have a proficiency in athletics. So athletics versus athletic? Yes. And again, um, the wizard probably does not have a bonus for that. I yeah. do. <laughs> so why don't we don't both roll athletics checks? Don't fill me out. I'll fill me out. I'll fill me out. Is that a d12? Is, is this a d- Oh, is this a one? Yeah. We need a d20, dude. Oh, it's over near the coffee. Oh, okay. I was going to say, where'd it go? Yeah, you stood up to roll it. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so we need. So we need. Five. Eight. (laughs) Plus my proficiency bonus. You try and reach out to hug this weird black and white person, and they just kind of easily avoid you. Oh. Like, nope. I'm not a hugger. So, uh, high five? Fine. Yeah, high five. High five the black and white person. You high five the black and white person, and you're... And I'm a drow, by the way. I, I don't your, know what that is. Your cups stick to their hands. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go now. Well, it looks like you're in a sticky situation now. Huh? I am going to pull oh. out a weapon. <laughs> I mean... You didn't do it on purpose. I mean, this happens sometimes. Hold on. (laughs) 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 That's great. That's great. That's amazing. (laughs) Sorry about that. (laughs) Happens every now and then. I got a weird skin thing. <laughs> Look, you're an octopus. I've seen your kinds. Hey, where, hey. where have you seen octopi? I've traveled a lot. Right. A lot. I want to be clear. I am not an octopus. Do you not see me talking to you? If you talk to an octopus, it's not an octopus. Okay, why don't you do a persuasion check versus... Deception. A deception? Yeah. Okay. I have perception proficiency. Deception versus... Um, wisdom save. Wisdom save. Yeah. So it, what, it has to meet the save? Um, yeah, the, it's like contested, so whichever one's higher. I get a 19 higher. plus my proficiency bonus. Oh yeah, no. So a 21. Like, I'm not an octopus, though. No, you're right. You are a Baco Taco. We are, we are, we are like, we are to octopus what you guys are to, like, monkeys. We're not, we're not octopuses. I understand, but I know what you are, so there's no point in trying to convince me that you are a normal human being. I thought something was fishy. Ah, nice. (laughs) I would take so, you with me. I like you. <laughs> so quit trying to pull us because I don't like it. Well, okay. Okay, fine. Fine. I suppose that that, that through 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 deep investigation you have unearthed my unreasonably cunning deception. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll just come out with it. I and and I want to I want I want to disrobe myself. <laughs> Isn't that essentially that's still? <laughs> that's st- you wear clothes. Isn't that essentially <laughs> being naked? It is. We have different societal standards from you. <laughs> Got it. Well, the right like they're they're the plants they grow on them are basically clothes, so it's not like you're super naked. Yeah, like, you're, just, you're just kind of hiking everything up, you know? Like taking your shirt off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure. Exactly. Like, 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 still covering the important parts. Exactly. I'm, I'm still keeping the, 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 the little ta-ta covered. It's not, it's not that bad. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, no, like I just I just want to expose my forearm in brilliant fashion and say I am a Bacco Taco. Bacco Taco, don't judge me. Oh gosh, I know how much you hate our kind here, you you land dwellers with your with your terrible expectations. Please, please don't serve me up for sushi. I don't actually care that you're from under the water. I care that you thought you could get away with trying to convince me that you're a normal human being. So, as long as you stop that, we're good. I yes, wanna. Yes, is just kind of looking at you weird. Like, I'm not judging you, but you're weird. <laughs> um, did you say you were a wizard? I am a wizard. Well, no. maybe you'd want to investigate this plant you found. You, you, you have a plant? It's magic. Oh, I like magic things. That's what I'm good at. Let me see it. Let me see it. Okay. Okay. So, um, do they have it with them? Yeah, yeah I have one in my backpack. Oh, cool. I, 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 I want to investigate this. Check it out. Let's see what's going on. I believe that would be an arcana roll. Yes, it would. And um, we don't have ability scores yet, do we? Uh, no, but I know that Arcana was like the, uh, uh, the yeah. proficiency Yeah, so I think it would be either like a four or five bonus total with proficiency. Wow. Oof. Seven. That'd be like an 11 total, right? Yeah. 11, 12 for a seven. I'd call it a 12. Okay. Um... You've heard of them, you've never seen one in person, you've read about them, so you recognize that this is a grass gourd. Um, you don't know exactly what it's for, but it has magical uses. So we'll keep it around with us. I want to ask them to eat it. Maybe we should ask Azra about this plant. No, 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 that's not necessary. I can, I can, I can, I can just do this. Let's go talk to Azra. <laughs> You find Azra by the fire. He's still kind of um, poring over this big flat book. And he looks up when you walk by. And, oh, hello. Enjoying the feast? Yeah, um, we were actually kind of curious. Can I eat this? <laughs> no, we put it back in our backpack. I don't want them to know we stole it. Uh, yeah, maybe that's not the best. <laughs> Yeah. Um, we've seen these plants around a lot. I think they're called a grass gourd. Can you tell me about them? Yeah, the farmer um, gave uh, sold one to me earlier. We were wondering what magical properties it had. Well, grass gourds are usually used for magical potions, I suppose. They're not used in spells. It's potions and brews and serums and things like that. Okay, is there a specific type that they're usually good in? No, well, I think they connect with the natural world mostly. Okay. Hmm. And for hardiness. So why that do could we, be useful for me. Why do the Drite have so many? You know, that's a good question. You should ask Saguaro. I don't know why they've been growing so many recently. Could that have to do with why the Count was here? Hmm. I don't think so. I would think it would be for protection from the Count, if anything. Okay. But then the question is, why did he pose a big enough threat for them to grow these? He starts trailing off again. Let's go talk to Saguaro. That's a good idea. Okay. Are we almost out of time? Yeah, we are. Okay. Well, we could end it here and just, like, pick back up by talking to Saguaro. No, it's okay. We can go a little bit more. Okay, cool. We started late. Um, okay. We started late, so we're running a little bit later. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go over and talk to Saguaro. Where is he? You find Saguaro talking to... You find Saguaro talking to someone holding a dried bundle of herbs. You're not sure what they're for. Hi, um, so we were just wondering about this strange plant that we've seen a lot here being grown. It's called a grass gourd. Azra was saying that it's used in a lot of magical potions. We were just wondering why you were growing so many. 
for protection mostly. From what? It doesn't seem like this is a pretty peaceful town. From the count. How long has the count been a threat? Well, he used to not be a threat so much, but he's gotten more menacing recently. You know why? I don't think he's the count. I think he's one of the Arcana in disguise. What are those? He's a clone. Sounds dangerous. Any Not experience quite. with this? Not quite. Okay. Azra wanders over, and he and Saguaro start whispering together. And Azra eventually says, hmm, this is, this is worse than I thought. And he turns to all of you and says, if you're coming with me, we should head back to the city in the morning. Yeah, that sounds good. That's we'll plan. be ready to go. Okay. We're going to end there for the day. Thank you for listening to WXTL 91.3. This is The Torch and Wand. We'll be back next week, hopefully with music and our tabaxi. Keep listening for more programming, and don't forget to tune in to the Rhythm Lounge at noon with Joel. Thanks for listening. Bye. 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 Did you record that one? Acting is like, I feel like you're stupid is a lot of work. What? I feel like you're stupid is a lot more work. What's your intelligence, (laughs) man? Is it that low? (laughs) It's not that it's that low. He's like, he's like really smart. He he doesn't know what's going on. (laughs) So like, so like, you like, you like, like, how how about do some magic? And he's like, great. But like, other than that, he's not very helpful right now. Gotta adjust. Nice. I didn't play like an idiot, but it just kind of felt that it kind of happened. That happens. I feel like that happens to most people. It's like, I didn't set out here to be an idiot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, it just happened. <laughs> I realized, yeah, why am I here? I'm not really the smartest bunch. I kind of went off of there. See, it's funny because I'm pretty sure my intelligence is probably lower than yours. My intelligence is an eight. That's like a nine or something. Well, it was a nine, but after the minus one, it's a nine. Yeah. Why did a minus one get like a or something? No, it's just a nine. Oh, true. <sighs> so, do you play DD? Yeah, okay. I literally met him when I was waiting for the train one week, and I. I